Hey guys, so today's video was inspired by all the questions I got the other day on what I use to give my body the glow, what I use to get the glow. There's always a lot of questions about the glow. Everyone wants to glow. I thought, oh, I should do a video with all my favorite glow products. Everything that I love to use. You wanna glow all year round. I'm trying to show up to these winter parties glowing. I'm gonna be talking about some skin prep items for glowing, all my favorite liquid highlights, powder highlights, body highlights. We get really close, really intimate. If you guys are interested in this, then keep on watching. When I want the ultimate glow, I always start with the prep for the glow. And this is kind of the after skincare stuff to get that extra bit of glow in your skin before makeup application. I especially do these steps if I know I'm not gonna be wearing foundation and I just want my skin to look extra good and spot conceal. I use two products, and the first product is MAC Strobe Cream, and this is in gold light. There's different shades of strobe cream. This stuff is a beautiful moisturizer that gives you a high shine finish to your face. It looks so nice and natural daylight. If you're having a no makeup day and you wanna look like you're glowing from within, I swear this stuff is like the best. I've been putting this on the high points of my face, down the bridge of my nose, anywhere you highlight, I apply this moisturizer. You can even apply it over your whole face, but that's just what I do. So as you can see, it has a, the consistency of a moisturizer and it just looks healthy and glowy. And honestly, under these lights, it's not even doing it that much justice, but it looks so radiant. The next item I'm pretty excited about, to be honest with you guys, I've seen it all over Instagram and I just didn't think it was like for real. I, I didn't really know what it was. I just see people like making those videos where they like drip drop oil on their face. And recently they sent it to me and I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna just see what's up with this stuff. It's the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir. And it is actually so bomb. I saw that it helps with discoloration and texture of the skin and it's also really hydrating. Kind of looks like my backdrop, it's super pretty. And you just put a few drops of this onto your face and I like to pat it into my skin. And I also do this before applying my foundation and it looks, smells, feels, all of the above incredible, makes my skin look extra hydrated and then it makes my foundation go on better. I do let it sit on my skin for a while before I put my foundation on just cause I don't wanna be too like slippery or anything. Mmm. It smells amazing. You guys have to smell it. If you're into oils for the face, I love this Farsali oil. Moving on, I'm gonna go into liquid illuminators for the face. I have two that I've talked about before. I still have been using this cocktail, it has not changed. I think I started doing this when I went to Shanghai with Steven. A lot of you guys were saying how dewy and crazy, like glowy my skin looked, and it's because I was mixing these two, which is the Iconic London Illuminator Drops, and then the other one is the Marc Jacobs Do You Drops. The reason I like to mix them together is because the Iconic London Illuminator Drops are very, very strong. This is the Iconic London highlight, and this is the Marc Jacobs highlight, and already you can see here, this is basically like a foil. Do you see that? You see what I'm saying? And then this is the Marc Jacobs, which totally has a different consistency. Still very, very high shine, still very beautiful, but has a totally different finish than the iconic one. Both beautiful on their own, but together, I swear it's like power couple, okay? I put a drop of each together and I blend it with my beauty blender, apply it to the high points of my face, and it is gorgeous, incredible, amazing, you know, I was gonna move on to powdered highlights, but I want to put my lip product on, so I'm moving on to my favorite high shine lip gloss, and that of course is the Desi X Katie Dose of Colors lip gloss. Whew, I love this lip gloss so much. Actually, my favorite on top of just nude lips, as in like bare lips for me. I love to put it on for that effortless look, and glosses are really, really, popping right now, they're making a huge comeback. I would say this is like a very, very light, sheer lip gloss with the most beautiful, tiny gold reflex you've ever seen. And when you're in the sunlight, it is like, whoa. Espérame un momento, por favor. Oh my God. Do you see this? Like you just want to be out in the sunlight. Kiss me. That is my favorite glow product for the lips and I was waiting to put it on for the video. I just wanted to get to that first. We're gonna move on to powdered highlights now and I'm gonna give you guys all of my favorite highlights. Of course, 
Number one being the Desi X Katie highlights. Obviously, these are my favorites because Katie and I created them with Joseph Colors to be our favorites. And I know that we just had the final restock and these are limited editions, so I will give you guys my other highlights that I love just in case you can't get your hands on these anymore. One of them is Fuego and this is the lighter of the two. And Mirame is a little bit more for medium to deep skin tones. And that's this one right over here. Obviously, you guys know I love these highlights. I don't have to tell you. I'm not being biased, just my babies. So this is Fuego right over here. Oof, I love that these are so finely milled, I would say, so that they don't look chunky on your face. They look really pretty and just glossy, actually. And then this one is Mirame. So you can see the slight difference. This one has more of a rose gold undertone and then there is more of a color to this one. And this one is more of like a light champagne gold. Both very reflective, but not too chunky for your face. My babies. Now moving on to another highlight, which is Bomb. It basically came to the drugstore world and said, I'm gonna kill it and that is the Master Chrome by Maybelline. This highlight is like the best drugstore highlight I have ever seen in my life. I can't open it at the moment because I have all types of illuminating stuff on my hands. Oh my God, my hands are so slippery. Svenka, por favor. Here it is, and this highlight is just so beautiful. This is a shade Molten Gold. I think this highlight has just become a staple for a lot of people because not only does it one range from like eight to $10 depending on where you buy it, which is so affordable, but it is on the level performance wise of like the highest end highlighters out there. Everybody who has tried this is just like died for it. This is a swatch of the Master Chrome highlight. Very, very beautiful. So it's a little bit deeper of a gold than Fuego, but not much. And lastly, for the more expansive highlights, this is the Bronze Goddess Estee Lauder Heat Wave Highlight. This shit right here. Clearly I love it a lot. Look at what it looks like at this point in my life. I travel with this one in particular all the time. It is on the uh, more pricey side. I think this ranges for around $45 and that's pricey, okay? But it is really, really good. This one I would say has a little bit more flex of glitter in it, not a lot, not like, oh my God, there's a crap load of glitter on your face, but a little bit more than the other highlights that I showed you guys. For that reason, I do love to pop a little bit of this on the very high points of the cheeks, very high point of the forehead. You know how you put highlight like all right here? So I will apply this like right here, right here, right, just right in the center of all the highest points of the highlighted areas. And it's just like, boom, your cheekbones pop out, your nose highlight pops out, your chin is like, mm. Here is a swatch of the heat wave. You can see there's like a little bit more flex of glitter than the other ones, but it's so reflective. It has a very high shine finish. You guys are probably looking at the swatches of these highlights and like thinking they all look the same. Maybe they do, okay? Maybe they do on camera, but in person, they all have a different formula, a different finish, and a different undertone, and that can change if you like it or not. For example, maybe somebody with a little bit more texture in the areas isn't gonna want a highlight with more glitter. The least amount of glitter, the better for them. Or maybe you're somebody who loves that like high intensity glitter. You know, it's all trial and error and I'm sure they all look the damn same on camera, but they are not, okay? I promise you. And lastly, for the powder highlight products is the Becca Cosmetics collaboration with Chrissy Teigen. Beautiful, the packaging, love it so much. Really, I haven't used much from this palette except this one right here. Hibiscus Bloom is poppin', okay? The reason I love this color in particular is because it works as the most beautiful cheek blush highlight, like right here. Some people may not wanna put highlight there, some people do. I just was playing around with it because at first I didn't really get the palette. I was confused by the colors. I felt like maybe I wasn't drawn to it. And then I saw a picture of Chrissy Teigen and she has those like amazing high cheeks. And I noticed like she had a little highlight like right here on the cheeks. And I was like, that looks really pretty. So I decided to try it with this blushier color because I wanted to put it on top of my blush and it was like life changing, okay? 
like right at the top of the apple of my cheeks. I just kind of graze it there and it has like this slightly pinkish blushy undertone that makes you look not only highlighted but flushed at the same time. I love to apply this as like a blush topper. This is something I reach for almost every single day I do my makeup, especially on the days that I want that fresh, no makeup makeup look. Now we're gonna move on to face sprays and this is very important when highlighting. I repeat, very important when highlighting. At the end of highlighting, at the end of applying powders to your skin, you want everything to look like your skin. So spraying your face with some type of setting spray or some type of glow spray is really gonna help the overall finish of your makeup application. And when it comes to the highlighted parts of your face in particular, these are two sprays that I am loving. Something you guys I'm sure are all very familiar with. It's the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. So many people rave about this. I know a lot of celebrity makeup artists who use this as well. It's like ride or die. A lot of people apply like so much of this, but when I did meet with Tatcha before, they did say two sprays is what they recommend, is what is supposed to be sprayed. Like one, two, but we be out here like shh, 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 shh spraying that shit, like showering in it, right? I especially notice when I try to do that, it does have like a dewier finish, so I do see that like when I try to put too much, it kind of will give like little oil spots. I mean, you can always go in and like, with your beauty blender. I like to spray this just over all the areas that I applied the powder highlight, because it makes the highlight look more like skin. It gives it more of that um, wet, shiny look. Sometimes when you look straight forward, you could see the powder sitting on top of the skin and this is going to stop that. It's gonna just really melt the um, highlight into the cheekbone so that when you are looking straight, you don't see a cast of powder and it looks good from every angle. So I love the Dewy Skin Mist. This without makeup also looks incredible if you just want to be out the door, you wanna just go to the grocery store really quick. <laughs> I put a little bit more of this on when I don't have foundation or anything. I like to really but when I do, I just keep it to like the two sprays or maybe like three. Oh, and then another thing about this Tatcha's Dewy Skin Mist. This is something I um, learned on Wayne Goss's channel. So he said that what you can do to keep your under eyes from that powdery, um, creasy look is applying a little spritz of this to your beauty blender and just tapping it lightly on top of your under eyes after you set them with powder. And that's a huge trick to get your eyes from looking less dry and cracky underneath. That's because there is a uh, particular ingredient in here that stops that from happening. Okay, watch his video, way more detailed about um, why and how that works for the under eye, but I've been doing it ever since I watched his video, so that's just such a good tip. Next product is the newest addition to my current Glow products, whereas all of these other things I've been using for months and months and months, this one is the newest. This is the Sephora um, Perfection Mist and Nude Glow. You know, Patrick Ta was raving about this, who's also like a really great makeup artist that I love. And this product is something that, like the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist, you wanna put on the high points of your face. So like, let's hit the forehead real quick, right? Oh God, I got too close, I think. Try not to get too close like I just did. See that? I mean, that just really brought me home here. Greased piggy, rotisserie chicken. Okay, then like right here. See that? This in particular is really good if you're gonna be taking photos, in a video, red carpet, anywhere where there's like lights just casting on your face. I mean, it gives the most beautiful effect. Like your skin is gonna look so healthy. You're gonna look so hydrated, okay? Do you see this? So this is what it looks like with the spray and then here without. Still looks glossy, still looks highlighted, but just this is another effect that you could give yourself. Available at Sephora.com. And then of course we have the MAC Fix Plus Spray. This is kind of like, everyone has to have this. It's a staple in everybody's collection. You could use this before makeup. You could use this for setting your makeup and you could use this to intensify the glow on your powder highlight, which is definitely what I use it for. This stuff, as you can see, is like every day for me. I have my backup ready to go over here. Get you some MAC Fix Plus. Ooh, yes. That was an expensive spritz I did for the camera. 
for you guys. So the other day I did a red carpet and I put so much goodness on my body and this is the exact cocktail that I used the other day. This is called the Body Glow Bronzing Body Oil from NARS. And the reason I used this one is because it does have a bronze glow. So if you want to give your skin a little bit more of a tan without self tanning or anything like that, this is going to look really, really nice. As you can see, that is like a nice deep tan. And it just gives your skin a nice color boost. If you highlight your face and your body's showing, you want your body to be highlighted as well. I felt really bad for my driver because after I got out of his car, it looked like somebody took a Costco rotisserie chicken and just like rubbed it all over his seats. Like I was like, now I'm feeling tan. Now I feel like all the bronzy parts of my face are matching the body. So that's good. We added a little bit of color. It's bronzed. It's matching the bronze areas of our face. But now you want to bring in some highlights. You could just leave it like this. The light does hit this and it looks really nice, but it's just not like damn. You want it to be like, damn, okay? I'm gonna be using Fuego, and this is the lighter of the two. Apply it to the high points of the body. So, boom. You can use a less dense brush, maybe like this one. Put the highlight on your shoulder. Put it on the high point and then blend out the edges. And also bring it down the center of your arm. See that? Like, look at that already. We're matching our face to our body. All right, so this is also important. I hope you guys aren't like, oh my God, there's a lot of boob in my face, but it's important for girls out there who want to make their boobs look even better on camera. So I like to hit this part of my boob with a highlight. It's just gonna make your boobs look firmer, plumpier. I hope you guys aren't thinking this is like pervy. This is important, you need to know these things. You wanna hit the center. We're getting so close and personal right now this center right here. Do you see that? Such a huge difference. Oh. You know, we just have to be real here. This makes the boobs look way better. And I'm telling you, if you want to take it up a notch, you could even add a light bronzer. I'm using Hoola by Benefit. And just, you know, just kind of like, just a little right here, just do to do. It's all about lights and shadow and making things look better with your face as well as with your body. I'm sharing these tips and tricks with you. I hope my breasts in your face weren't like... I really forgot to tell you guys about this. I almost forgot because I've talked about it so much. Shayla is the one who got me onto this product. This is the Nivea Essentially Enriched Body Lotion. This stuff is the best body lotion for glow, for photography. It has the most high shine finish, makes your skin look so healthy, and it doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's just a body lotion. But I'm telling you, I have gotten so many questions about what's on my skin when I take flash photography with this because it brings out all the high points. It looks amazing, it looks incredible. You can get it at Target. Oh, this is a massive bottle, $6, okay? Don't sleep on it. It's very, very rich. You're gonna look extra, extra amazing. It has almond oil in it, that must be good for you, okay? Last thing, this is optional. You don't have to do this. You could use any spray that you have. This is something that I use from time to time, especially if I just like, oh my God, I'm in a rush. Let me just give my body a glow real quick. Tom Ford, super luxury item. I've wanted this for so long. Finally decided to get it. It is expansive, but it's so pretty. It's basically a body oil. It has really finely milled gold glitter. This stuff looks incredible. Shayla's always using it. it. Smells really good. Is it like you have to have this? Personally, I know a lot of people say you do, but once I got it, I was like, okay, I like it, but do I have to have it? No, you can still get the same effect with other items. Like if you have the Tatcha Mist, if you have the Sephora Mist, just hit the high points of your body with those mists. This is just like extra, okay? But I'm gonna do anyways. So this is like over the top. You're living, breathing. Five levels up from what we just had. It is extra glossy, extra rotisserie, extra glazed, hot and fresh, over the top. You don't have to take it there, but you can take it there. I have taken it there. I'll do it again. I've done crazier things. All right, so that is it. Those are all my favorite glow products, my glow secrets, my booby secrets. 
all the good secrets that I have for glowing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope that some of these items work really well, especially for the drier months coming up and you're still glowing all year long. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it or you found this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh my God, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, that was a hot ass mess. I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm clocking out.